Alur Mandarin Nasipi Si Yuyas
that we should be progressive and our land should be fertile. The Ashoka Chakra in between talks about the Dharma, Dharmo Rakshiti Rakshitaha. We should safeguard the Dharma. We should follow the ethical values. We should follow the moral values. We should be clean. We should be transparent. And we should always think for the good of the nation. Then only it will be good for us and good for the family. Without country being good, we cannot be good. So first, we should make the country good. We should strive for the country. We should think for the country. Then only we can be good. As you all know, our country is Akanda Bharat with 130 crores of population with 49 states, more than 30 recognized local languages. When you travel across the country for every 100 kilometers, the culture changes, the accent changes, the Rahan Sahan changes, but still we are all one. Unity in diversity. The reason is our strong fundamental Vedic cultural values, our common language Hindi which binds us together, our thought process and the ethical values which our ancestors, our earlier generations have passed on to us. So friends, it's very important to preach, teach our children to always talk, walk on the right path. We should teach them what is ethical. We should teach them what is moral. We should teach them what is their responsibility towards the society. Once you have the strong seeds, once you have the children at tender age trained in the proper way for the society, tomorrow we will have good citizens with us. The country will progress automatically. The greatness of India is in spite of Pakistan war, in spite of China war, in spite of drought, in spite of uh, economic recessions, in spite of COVID wave 1, 2, still we are progressing. Still we are prospering. prospering. The reason is our fundamentals, whether it is economic fundamentals, financial fundamentals, or ethical fundamentals, or administrative fundamentals, and political fundamentals are very strong. Irrespective of the political lines, we should recognize that all the great leaders have contributed their best for the country selflessly. That is the greatness of our nation. And as a citizen, it becomes our responsibility to choose the right people to have the power in the right hands so that the future of our next generations is secure. For that, we should always take care of the three C's. One thing is, never give a vote for cash. No vote, no note. Give a vote without note. Give the vote for the person who deserves, who can work for the people, who can work for the society. Similarly, other trend, never think while giving the vote, the caste of a person, see whether he is fit, whether he will work for the country, whether he will work for the society, without any self for himself. That means we need selfless leaders. So don't look at the origin or caste of a person, give the vote based on the merit. Similarly, cash is over, then caste is over. The third important thing which we should never look is, we should not hesitate and we should look into is the cleanliness of a person. Never give a vote to a criminal who has a criminal record. If you take care of these threes, definitely we will really exercise the power of the vote. We will have the right people irrespective of the political lines who will work for the society, who will work for the country. And definitely our future generations will be in the hands of the safe people. These are the precautions which you should all take. Also educate our children. Never shy away them from politics. Teach them what is the greatness of politics. See, politics is a very great profession. If really right people, when they are there in the politics, they can take the country forward. So that is the greatness of our Indian Republic. 
we should always salute it we should always worship it india with a population of 130 crores is having enormous consumer power if you produce what we need and if you consume what we need definitely on its own automatically indian gdp will move more than nine percent that is the strength and greatness of the country so that is the importance of exports and imports and as you all know between export and import there is a port and that is why we are here all the major ports in the country put together for the period from april to december have handled 478 million metrics of cargo in the last year whereas this financial year we have handled 529.34 billion metric tons of cargo we have far surpassed the earlier record all major ports put together when it comes to new Bangalore port trust in the last year we have handled 25.7 million metric tons for the period from april to december whereas this financial year for the period april to december we have handled 27.46 million metric tons almost eight percent growth is there our operating revenue has moved from 434 crores to 460 crores which is a big jump and our net surplus has moved from 145 crores to 201 crores which is also a big jump in spite of covid 2 covid 3 our operating ratio has improved from 42.84 to 40.83 the 40.83 operating ratio is a very healthy operating ratio which you generally find only in the private companies Though NMPT is a centrally administered port, we are as efficient and are and as economical as any other private company. That is our uh, strength of our financials. As far as the contribution of revenue to customs by NMPT is concerned, customs department has earned 1,819 crores last year, whereas this financial year already they have earned 3586 crores almost double and provide nmpt has earned revenue for the customs which is doubled over the last year as far as the highlights are concerned last financial this financial year that is 2021-22 we have handled a parcel size of 1,13,642 metric tons of coal through the great pin vessel and as you all know we have handled five naval vessels of 370 metric tons of liquid oxygen for the covid and nmpt has given 15000 free vaccinations to the citizens as well as the staff in and around Panama. now in this financial year the steel cars of JSW from Ballari have started flowing through NMPT. This is also an achievement. NMPT got the first prize as far as the implementation of Hindi is concerned in Tolik, Bangalore. And as you all know, on 17th of December, we have started the container scanner. Container scanner is a part of ease of doing business and uh, this is going to help us in reducing the dwell time of containers and inspection time of containers at NMPT. And uh, as far as our immediate targets are concerned, NMPT will be starting the integrated container operations from birth number 14 by JSW uh, by February end of this year and our uh, Malia gate is going to get modernized with the latest RFID where a truck driver need not get down from the truck maximum he has to spend less than two minutes at the gate for entry and exit this is going to start from the month of April 2022 as far as the birth number 15 which is owned by Adani power is concerned we are trying to uh, handle we are trying to launch edible oil handling from birth number 15 after following the due procedures and 85,000 square meters of land at the Nirbhavi we have given to uh, 
a company Seal Arts. They are going to start a gas plant. This is going to give an additional cargo of 3 million metric tons of gas to New Mangalore Port Trust. Apart from this, around 200 direct employment it is going to generate and around 600 indirect employment in terms of truck drivers, cleaners and other associated staff is going to generate. In fact, I spoke to them and I made a personal request to them to ensure that the local youth are given preference. The employment will be for local youth, not from outside people, unless it is a bigger post like general manager, managing director and all that. This is going to happen within one and a half year and uh, I have advised all my officers to expedite this because this is a port based industry which is going to generate revenue for the port, which is going to give throughput for the port and which is going to generate employment for the local youth. And similarly, at uh, Panambur, we have given a parcel of land to Priya Gold. They are going to invest around, uh, no earlier investment is around 3000 crores for the glass plant, phase one, phase two. And this Priya Gold edible oil is concerned, it is around 600 crores. This is going to give an employment direct employment to 100 local youth as well as 300 to 400 employment, indirect employment to associated people. Here also I spoke to them and I made it a point that the local youth should be given the priority and have agreed also. And uh, as far as the land and behind the Vishnu temple, is, see Vishnu, Maha Vishnu temple is concerned, we are trying to give priority to Bituvini handlers so that we will get more and more bituminous plants. It will in turn generate more employment. As far as the long term goals are concerned, birth number 17, we are in the process of construction. And birth number 9, 10, 11, and 13, we are going to monetize, that is, outsource these things. And uh, handling of limestone and also the iron ore, we are looking into possibility from birth number 15 and uh, birth number 16. And as far as the skill development center is concerned, this year, before 23rd April, that is uh, April 2023, we want to start it. And we are also given the work of making the feasibility report for flyover between Bicom Party and KOCL Junction to IPRCL and once the report comes we will try to take the help of uh, Sagarmala funds and also we will be taking the help of the uh, state government and NMPT also will contribute and we want to construct a flyover between uh, Bicom Party to KUCL which is for the public of the Mangalore. Success is not final. Good, better, best, never rest till good becomes better and better becomes best. So let us continue to work hard, transparently for the nation, for the port so that the port will progress, the state will progress and the nation will progress and in turn we will all progress. Our youth will get more jobs, more employment and the total Indian economy will move towards 6 trillion dollar economy and very soon we all are confident that India will become number one in economic power on the globe. Bharat tu se mera naam hai, Bharat tu hi mera dham hai, Bharat tu me gita saar hai, Bharat tu amrut ki dhara hai, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. गणतंत्र दिवस समारोह परेड समाप्त हुई कुछ करने की अज्ञा प्रदान करें श्रीमान
Kuni and decided to throw the Constitution into force. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to give away the cash awards and distribution of scholarships and the acceptance of these awards. Now, may I call upon Miss Akshay. Now we are going to honor the CSM personnel who have rendered the exemplary service. If they are near, they can otherwise ask you off. He has always performed his duty with utmost dedication to the CSM unit. We are recognizing his service on this day. If he is there, he can come, otherwise somebody on behalf of fire understand they are on duty. Now, Sri Dink is the colleague is receiving. He has also been performing duty sincerely and with the most dedication in the CISM unit. Now, the employees uh, are also now, first of all, saying that they we have to, we have to learn emotionally. We have to, we have to, so to call out the kind of people that are doing. So far, as far as we are concerned, we have to learn. Now, we have to see the data. So to call out the people that are doing. We have to get the case that are not there. Maybe, so far, we have to learn. So to meet the mood of the person, so that the person can go to the station. Even if we. दाखला दा पूर्व कले या तब प्रकरण दर लो आरोपी या नफाते मारी तरीके ना पूरे इसे दिखारे हाँ कि ये सुमारु कड़ों प्रकरण दर ली अदनाल कुलांग शक्ति दर लो एक चु मोहल्ले दा चिना पर ये से सेक्टरी दा लॉन्ग पेंडिंग इश्यूज रिलेटेड टू री बस में टाउ डिफरेंस इन मिनिमम वेजेस एस वेल एस रिफेंड May come up with Guru Prasad Mahi Pai, Subsistence Engineer Mechanical for his exemplary service in involving the settling of training issues, release of the retention money and timely collection of revenue. Assistant Materials Manager Grade 2 for his timely procurement of COVID-related and medical, electrical and housekeeping items and also ERP development and SEM model development. Now we call upon Dr. Dayananda Shetty K, who has carried out the duties at the Children's Office on 2920, Technical Verification of Proposals, Cross, Procedural Lapses in the Various Proposals, Standard Tender Technical Advice in Finalization of Various Contracts. Ladies and gentlemen, now I call upon Pramod Kumar Das, Deputy Traffic Manager. So, who has rendered the exemplary service, streamlining of RFID and also gate pass issues. Now, I call upon Arin Kumar, Assistant Traffic Manager, Grade for his exemplary service, successfully managing the destruction of 29 long stay unclear containers of spoiled cashew as a special disposal drive taken. Now I would like to call upon C. Vivek C. P. Vivek C. P. from Civil Engineering Department who has played a vital role by assisting the department in successful implementation of PPP projects. Now may I call upon C. Shailendra V. Mudgal. Shailendra V. Mughihal, Engineer Grade 2, for his exemplary work is carried out for processing of all bills pertaining to the damages of Tug Ishwari. By Kalapan, Sri Jayan, A.E. Electrical, relocating the navigational boys to their correct position in the Cyclone 2 team, timely maintenance of navigational boys. Now, may I call upon Sri Sumayanai, Fire Come Assistant Safety Officer, for his exemplary service for keeping the fire team alert in all times, especially saving the lives of scouts falling into the water. And also, the Commissioner, Manglu City Corporation, has expressed his gratitude for the prompt service extended by Nimangur Port Fire Service Station. Now, may I call upon Srimati Ranjini, Senior Nurse and Srimati Tejavati K, Senior Nurse from Medical Department for their contribution in managing COVID-19 pandemic situation.
Surat Sita from NAPD High School, 10th standard, she has won first prize. For the remaining six awards, the cash awards will be handed over to the concert schools. Now the scholarships and cash awards for NAPD displays the Mogavira, Nalku Patna, Samyukta Sabha, Trisha G. Putran, Father Ganesh Putran, in SSLC. Preeta P. Mendel, daughter of Prashant Mendel from QC. For K. Karkera, Nishma P. Karkera, daughter of Padmanam R. Karkera from QC. Remaining 13 awards will be handed over to the organization. Nishma P. Karkera, Daughter of Padmanabha P. Karkera from PUC. The remaining awards will be received.